2021 was a year of promise and hope. We'd find a cure, end the lockdowns, and return to normal life. But the more things changed, the more they stayed the same. Continued restrictions, canceled plans, and more waiting. And yet through it all, God continued to break down walls, open doors, and change lives. Despite everything, this year was one of the most fruitful ever. After missing out in 2020, we finally held an in-person Steiger Mission School at our international center in Germany. This school equipped 108 students from 17 countries. We held Steiger intensives in 17 countries, including Mexico, Colombia, Argentina, Uruguay, Brazil, Chile, the United States, and throughout Europe. Our Steiger City team in Bogota, Colombia, engaged in public worship nights in the midst of the worst rioting and unrest the city has experienced in many years. They boldly shared the love of Jesus with people desperate for the truth. Our teams throughout the Russian-speaking world preached the gospel in 45 cities and in eight countries on Valentine's Day, introducing people to the greatest love the world has ever known. Our evangelistic YouTube channels Is There More and Deflate continue to communicate the gospel online in clear and relevant ways. Our online initiatives to equip the church and raise up the next generation of leaders has continued to grow. 2,300 people registered for our first ever online Steiger Apologetics event. At the end of the year, we hosted our first Sexuality in the Secular Age online event. Over 3,000 people registered. Together, we discussed how to bring the love and truth of Jesus to a sexually broken and confused generation. Our key church training resource, Jesus in the Secular World, was downloaded more than 70,000 times and led to many new connections and partnerships throughout North America. Steiger's Pioneer Team partnered with churches and city team members in Houston, Denver, and Minneapolis in an effort to catalyze and grow Steiger's presence in North America. 2021 included more training and outreach initiatives in North America than at any other time in our history. We preached on the streets, in clubs, in parks, on beaches, on university campuses, and in coffee shops. Steiger Poland challenged 120 young artists to be bold and share the message of the cross through their online revolutionary art seminars. They then led 30 of them on a seven-city evangelistic tour throughout Poland. They shared Jesus with over 1,400 people and started Steiger City teams in three new locations. The Steiger Europe team hosted the Back to the Streets seminar tour in 18 cities across Europe, including London, Madrid, Prague, and Budapest, training 584 people to bring the hope of Jesus to a secularized youth culture on the streets of key European cities. As a result, four new Steiger City teams were started. The Lisbon and Marseille City teams joined up to run an impact along the Camino de Santiago in Spain. 20 people joined them, many of whom had just completed the SMS. They were able to share Jesus through 150 one-on-one -on -one conversations along the road, stopping at hostels and drawing non-believers into powerful times of prayer and worship. After a year off, Steiger missionary Phil Shorey once again directed the performance of the Curse of the Vampire Orchestra, bringing the gospel to life for its audiences. Our teams in Tauranga and Wellington, New Zealand, preached the gospel on two New Zealand university campuses through a dramatization of the Gospel of Mark. On Halloween, Steiger City teams hit the streets to share the love of Jesus in 112 cities in 26 different countries. Despite another year of dealing with factors far beyond our control, God moved. Thousands of people heard the gospel, hundreds are being discipled, and lives have been changed forever. Sadly, there are millions of people who are still far from God. It's our mission to reach them with the love of Jesus. But this task isn't hard, it's impossible. We know that we cannot do this alone. But if the past year is any indication, we know that God loves to take ordinary people and do impossible things. So we look to what's ahead and expect that next year will be even better than the last.